this instructional video we shall be looking at the word processing options available within the Microsoft Office Word 207 program. Currently we're looking at a typical desktop layout with various icons shown on the left hand side. The first thing we need to do is open a blank Word Compose page. So we double click on the Word icon. This is the blank Compose page. First thing we need to do here is to customize the margins to suit our personal preferences. So to customize the margins you first go to Page Layout, Margins and at the bottom click Custom Margins. These are the factory settings which are much too big as far as I'm concerned. The top for example is 2.54, I would reduce that to 1. The left hand margin is again too wide, at 2.54 I'd reduce that to 1.5. The right hand margin also to 1.5 and the bottom can go down to 1. While you're on this page it's also worth checking that the paper is set correctly. We want A4 and yes that is correct. Now we go down to OK at the bottom of the menu and click OK. You'll get a message come up saying one or more of the margins are set outside the printable area of the page. You can ignore this because they're actually not set outside the printable area of the page, so click ignore. And there we have the page, all, all with all the margins correctly set. OK, now it's time to set the line spacing. Um, you're probably on home page, but you need to go on to page layout on the top column and move along to spacing and set it to naught. I'll be explaining how we use this control a little later. Go back to home and search out the two little arrows pointing up and down which is in fact the line spacing setup. Click that and you see all these various options for line spacing. Let's click 2.5 for example. Now everything we type will have a, a 2.5 spacing between it. Okay, That's probably too great. So I prefer 1.15. So now that it's set for 1.15 every bit of typing we do will come out at 1.15. And that's how it will continue for the rest of the page. OK, so we're starting typing now and all our typing is going to come out at 1.15. If when we've done a whole page of text we decide it's it's too close, there is an option to change it. First of all you highlight the text and then go to click page layout on the top line. Move over to spacing and you'll find you've got an option to respace after you've completed your work. So as you click 6 or 12, that's how it will be spaced. You can actually customise it and put in whichever one you want. So for example if we wanted 3, we just type in 3 and that's what you get, 3. So that's how you uh, respace work after you've typed it. Finally, in this word processing segment you might like to consider permanently changing the font style that you use. So click Home on the top line and you'll almost certainly find that the factory setting is Calibri. If you want to change that, move along the page to Change Styles. Click Change Styles and move down to Fonts. And there you'll find a selection of fonts. I personally prefer Times New Roman, so I shall click Times New Roman and go back and you'll find that Times New Roman has what has been set. If you want to set it permanently, Go back to Change Styles, move down to Set as Default, click Set as Default. And now Times New Roman is what I shall get from now on.